We have health disparities in Canada and challenges to access care can be a real issue. So depending on a number of factors, you may not get the same care in rural Newfoundland as you may get in the GTA, for example. So what are some of the more significant barriers to participation for patients in clinical trials? The big issue that we need to address is that women of childbearing age are frequently end up being excluded from trials or they have to prove some methods that they're not pregnant and that they're taking two forms of birth control. And sometimes that's even being done for actual interventions that we actually know are safe in pregnant women. And we've gotten into this culture where it just feels safer to restrict women who are of childbearing potential from being in clinical trials. And I put forward to you that's a big problem because obviously women who are of childbearing age or even pregnant do get medical conditions. And ideally we want to know what is the right way to treat women in that group. We need to have a much more balanced approach about how we think of women of childbearing age or women who are pregnant and their potential to be involved in trials and not just take automatic position that essentially excludes them from trials because that is very unfair to have happened.